is Interpith. That's been shoved down our throats all our lives via mainstream media and the education system. Is not what it seems. I've come to learn we've effectively been sold a well-polished turd. Technology even existed to verify the shape of our world and the structure and size of the universe around it. The whole world adopted this convoluted model of giant balls with near infinite space between them where down is up and up is down. All of the lights in our sky became giant balls. Giant balls floating, no, falling around each other, clustered in unimaginably large groups of billions of big balls surrounded by unimaginably large expanses of nothing. Literally nothing. These all shoot outward from a 14 billion year old explosion of nothing. Literally. The Earth we live on also became a giant ball. One with so much mass that everything on its surface is stuck on with even force. Even as it spins every 24 hours and orbits the sun and so on. Hilariously, the one practical experiment that most of our heliocentric cosmology rests on is pretty much just balls. A pair of lead balls to be precise. Hung from the ceiling of a man cave belonging to the eccentric and probably inbred 18th century noble Henry Cavendish. Somehow, an elaborate contraption of shafts, wires, pulleys, and a large rod, along with a pair of balls, was used to define the gravitational constant, which has barely changed to this day. As far as anyone can tell, the experiment hasn't been replicated since, not for lack of trying. Meanwhile, outside of fairy tales, nobody, anywhere, ever, has witnessed gravitational attraction between large objects in the lab or in nature. It all sounds so absurd, it's hard to believe anybody fell for it. It took a long time, many years, geometry calculations to make the model fit the observations of nature to make it somewhat believable, and many more years for the Catholic Church headed by Jesuit astronomers to push it through the education system. It's only within the last century through space agencies like NASA that the model has been verifiable. But in the age of internet, their endeavours are being systematically outed as Freemasonic frauds. And in the astronomy community, I'm sure all the way up to the highest level, they mean well. But it's basically a case of misinterpretation of data. When the model you're basing everything on is fraudulent, and the big observatories are run by Jesuits and Freemasons, well, nothing solid is built on rotten foundations.